Between 1608 and 1900, it is estimated that 508 women were executed in America. Today, we embark on a journey that spans centuries, unraveling the enigmatic tales of women who walked a treacherous path through time. Behind each execution, there lies a haunting narrative, a narrative that transcends eras and challenges the boundaries of understanding. These women were not just convicts, they were daughters, mothers, and sometimes even symbols of rebellion. The first female American hanged was Jane Champion, who was executed in Virginia in 1632 for an unspecified crime. On June 24, 1633, Margaret Hatch was executed by hanging in Virginia for murder. In Salem, Massachusetts, on December 6, 1638, Dorothy Talby was executed by hanging for killing her little daughter. Dorothy had an extremely unhappy marriage since she had a strong will and she was rebellious. She had been whipped for hitting her husband before she actually killed him. Mary Latham, then 18 years old, was the only woman to be executed for adultery in America on March 21, 1643, when she was hanged in Massachusetts alongside James Britton. Alice Martin Clark Bishop, 32 years old, was hung in Plymouth, Massachusetts in the fall of 1648 for killing her four-year-old daughter Martha, a crime she claimed she had no memory of. Mary Dyer was hanged from a tree by the Puritans on June 1, 1660 in Boston, Massachusetts because she had returned from exile and had rejected their religious convictions. On Boston Common, there is a statue of her. During 1692, 13 women were hanged at Salem, Massachusetts after the notorious witchcraft trials. They were Bridget Bishop on June 10th, Rebecca Nurse, Susanna Martin, Elizabeth Ho, Sarah Good and Sarah Wilds on July 19th, Martha Carrier on August 19th, and Martha Corey, Margaret Scott, Mary Eastie, Alice Parker, and Pudiator and Mary Parker on September 22nd. 28-year-old Elizabeth Emerson was hanged in Boston Common in Massachusetts on June 8, 1693 for killing her two children who were born through a relationship with her boyfriend. Unusually for the period, two years would pass between the verdict and the death penalty. Esther Rogers, 21 years old, was hung on July 17, 1701 in Ipswich, Massachusetts for killing her illegitimate child. Rebecca Chamblett, who was 27 years old, was hung in Massachusetts on September 27, 1733 for hiding the birth or death of her child. It must be understood that she may not have necessarily killed the child, it may have been born dead, but hiding it was still a serious crime. The first woman to be executed in Georgia was Alice Riley on January 19, 1735 in Savannah for helping her boyfriend, Richard White, kill her employer, William Wise. She was permitted to give birth to her child before being put to death since at the time of her trial, she was pregnant. White was hanged on the same gallows the day after Alice was put to death. Native American Patience Sampson, 23 years old, was hung on July 31, 1735 in York, Maine for the drowning death of 8-year-old Benjamin Trott, whom she had thrown into a well. Another woman, known as Mrs. Cornish, was hanged there for murder in 1644, but there are no more details of her crime. She was the second woman to be executed in this state. Native American Catherine Garrett, 27 years old, was executed by hanging in Connecticut on May 3, 1738, for murder. In Portsmouth, New Hampshire, on December 27, 1739, Sarah Simpson, a widow, and Penelope Kenny, a servant girl who had been found guilty of killing a child, were executed by hanging side by side from a tree. Thomas Packer, the sheriff, hanged Ruth Blay in addition to carrying out their executions. Ruth Blay, a teacher, was killed on December 30, 1768 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire after being found guilty of hiding her stillborn child's body on the classroom floor. After being thrown off a cart, she was also hanged from a tree. Ruth was the final woman to be put to death in New Hampshire. The state governor issued a last-minute stay of execution, but it came after Ruth had passed away. Bathsheba Spooner, 32 years old, was executed by hanging on July 2, 1778, in Massachusetts for killing her husband Joshua. She made an attempt to argue that she was insane, but it was rejected. 
After her execution, it was discovered that she was roughly five months pregnant. Sergeant James Buchanan, Private William Brooks and her boyfriend Ezra Ross were her three male co-defendants. They were all executed by hanging as well. March 3, 1786. Elizabeth Wilson, 27 years old, was executed by hanging from the back of a wagon in Chester, Pennsylvania for killing her two unborn babies. A reprieve was given to her, but it arrived 23 minutes too late to save her. Hannah Oquish, a Native American, was executed by hanging on December 20, 1786, in Connecticut for the murder of another child. At just 12 years and 9 months old, she was the youngest female to be put to death in the United States. She was found guilty in New London of killing Eunice Bowles, 6 years old, by strangling and beating her in retaliation. Hannah was accused of stealing fruit by Eunice a few weeks before the murder. Rachel Wall was the last of 39 women to be hung in Massachusetts on October 8, 1789. She was killed together with two other men for two different highway robberies. In her case, she was found guilty of robbing a teenage girl of her bonnet. On May 13, 1806, Polly Barclay was executed by hanging in Wilkes County, Georgia for participating in the murder of her husband. Susanna Cox, a 24-year-old woman, was hung on June 10, 1809 in Reading, Pennsylvania for killing her unborn child. Susanna was forced to step up into a cart that was positioned under the gallows beam and stand on top of her own coffin after she had walked from her jail cell to the gallows and prayed with her pastors. The horse was led forward after the preparations were finished and Susanna was launched into eternity. After a brief struggle, she passed away and after 17 minutes, she was brought down for burial. In Sussex County, New Jersey, on June 26, 1812, Mary Cole was executed by hanging for the self-admitted murder of her mother. Native American Mary Antoine, 20 years old, was hung in New York on September 30, 1814 for murder. Margaret Hotelling was executed by hanging on October 17, 1817 in Hudson, New York, after being found guilty of killing her infant. A neighbor later admitted to the crime. Lavinia Fisher, 27 years old, and her husband were hung in South Carolina on February 18, 1820, both for murder. For her execution, she wore her white bridal dress. They were put to death for the robbery murders of visitors to their Charleston Inn, the Six Mile House. On July 12, 1833, Frankie Stewart Silver was executed by hanging in Morganton, North Carolina, for killing her husband with an axe. She committed the crime when she was just 18 years old. Frankie said that she killed her inebriated husband as he loaded his rifle and prepared to shoot her. Frankie tried to give a final speech while standing with the rope around her neck, but her father cut her off yelling, Die with it in you, Frankie. One is left wondering what secret she took to her grave. Please hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.